Howdy, I'm Otto Edis Jason, and in this video, we're gonna do a pretty beginner level DIY headlight lens restoration. I got got at the auto parts store last time. Let me go know in the comments if you guys have this happen to you where you see something you kinda need, but it's on sale. So this was on sale for eight bucks. I see this kit on Amazon right now for $15.99, so 16 bucks. So either way, it's at a price point that I think is worth the risk worth trying. And I'll walk you through step-by-step step what we're actually doing when you're doing a headlight lens restoration. You're basically sanding it down and polishing it. One of the things on these things isn't the fact that these are faded from being in the sun. It's that over 160,000 miles in 11 years on the road, there's actually just a lot of rock chips and wear. That's a lot of miles to cover. And so you're just literally blasting through the atmosphere, debris on the freeway and things like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna undo that stuff as well. Of course, there is a bit of sun fading at the top here of the lens. So we'll work on that a little bit. But that's the nitpicky part of what I'm really looking to get out of here is just freshening them up, getting some of the, wiping some of the years away on these things. The only thing you'll need to use the kit is a drill motor. I have that right here. A couple of rags and some like water or soapy water here is what I've been using in a bottle. And it even comes with tape to mask around the headlights because you're gonna be using sandpaper to sand this down so you don't wanna scratch your paint. So you'll wanna put two layers of tape all the way around your headlight lens so you don't scratch your paint. And you wanna be careful as well, but since this Range Rover is so unique, let me show you what I'm gonna do instead. What I've learned in my short time with the Range Rover here is that for every quirky, frustrating thing, like not being able to check your oil with a dipstick, you have to do it on the dash and trust a sensor. Uh, there's some cool stuff. There's that offset that. To take the headlight out, it's the easiest thing I've ever seen on any vehicle. Watch this, no tools. We'll have this headlight out before you can sing me happy birthday. It's not my birthday, but just giving you a reference. So grill, out. Lift up tab here, lift up tab here. Pull headlight out, unplug it right here. Are you done singing yet? I don't think so. That's kind of ridiculous. So we're gonna work on them out without having, even having to tape that off. Ooh, I just noticed a place I need to clean. Look at this. Yep, we get to clean that. I like that stuff. That's kind of remarkable. Let me do a quick clinic on the grit of sandpaper. This is the 500, the coarsest we're gonna to use today, the 800 here, still really quite fine. And then the 3000, just polishing basically. So the grit is the how, obviously how coarse it is. So like, let's get one grit right there. It's based on one square inch of material. Let me jump from 500 down to 180 right here. Like, See how abrasive that is? It's taking this one grit or pebble example here and takes quite a bit of material off. Now, when we use our 500 here, if you notice, it is a much finer, much, it's a much lighter approach. And then likewise on up, the 800 barely takes anything off of this thing. And actually we did more damage to that pad than we did to our one grit pebble here. So that gives you an idea of the grit. So you, this right here, way too aggressive for what we wanna to do today. We're gonna to be all up in this gentle range here. We'll make our first pass with the 500 grit discs from the kit. The instructions say use medium pressure here, but I recommend a little extra caution with this stage of sanding because you're removing the most amount of material. I'm only using the weight of the drill as my level of attack and focusing mostly on maintaining the correct pad angle for each pass. The trailing half of the sanding disc is the most effective here. Keep the sandpaper clear of buildup by periodically slapping it with your hand or a good shot of compressed air. I use both. I'm okay with our 500 grit pass here. We can always go back. Now it's time to trade these 500 grit scratches for 800 grit scratches. Lessen them up a little bit. Same principles apply on the 800 grit pass. Keep a nice, even pressure and smooth, consistent motion. We are now in the process of undoing the deeper scratches from our first pass. And I'll even use my hands to get into the contours of the lenses. 
Now that we have a fairly universal haze, you just kind of want it consistent. I'm not spending a ton of time here. So we're gonna go ahead and get our 3000 grit pad, which is basically just a polishing pad. And so we'll get that on. And now it's time to break out some water. I use a, just a little drop of soap in here just to add a little bit of lube to this water. And that's important because this next step makes another dramatic change in our lens appearance. The water helps preserve the 3000 pad. And I find that you can now comfortably attack with that medium pressure the instructions mention. I'll even keep the drill pad almost flat during this process. So you can see the difference between 3000 grit sand scratches and 800 grit sand scratches. So we're gonna graduate from this to this uh, with this pad. And then from here, we're gonna use that UV thing. And I think that's gonna hopefully make that pop. But for now, let's get go ahead and attack this. But we're looking really good. See how even that looks? I have them dried off and cleaned up here, and I'm fairly happy with them. Um, again, I'm not spending a ton of time on this. I just kind of want to get this done. It's kind of an impulse thing, but I want to share, and I'm happy with where it's at. I, I don't see much, if any, of the sand scratches and a couple of bigger chips, but other than that, I say we go for it. These are the clear coat, you get two of these. Put gloves on, already got my bones gloves on. Hey, don't forget to go to the Amazon store, help support the channel, and pick up a set of these things. I love them, you will too. Give them a try. Uh, that stuff helps the channel, thank you so much. Uh, all right, so apply one coat to both headlight. Let dry five to 15 minutes or until dry to touch. Once dry, open the second packet and put it on. While we're waiting for that to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up a little bit. And that's just using a little bit of rubbing compound on here and a rag. And you just wanna give that a little scrubbing. Let's open up our little doohickey here. Release. The awesomeness, and let's get going. Okay, we just let it dry and we throw them back in. Pretty easy, right? Drill back in. Let's see what we got. Well, this was uh, definitely worth the hour of time invested in this. It's a high reward. It's gonna not bug me anymore. They're not perfect. There's definitely some stuff still inside. These are older lenses, and especially on this side, it's definitely seen some you know, heat and some abuse. Uh, but for now, this is fully acceptable for the investment and the time. And I hope this encourages one of you guys to just get out and tinker on your vehicle. This is a really fun thing and to build your skills and do little things like this to your rig uh, just feels good and then it'll add that confidence to maybe try something else after that so thank you guys so much for watching and until next time enjoy your drive